You guys, welcome back. I'll be showing you how to prepare a quick and easy hot pot meal at home using soup based packets that you can find at your local Asian store. There is a bit of prep work involved, but your body will feel so warm and happy from eating this delicious meal. I like to have freshly chopped scallion, garlic, and cilantro on the side when eating hot pot. It can be added to your broth as you're eating for extra pops of flavor. And then there's the sauces that you can use to dip freshly cooked items into. There are so many kinds of sauces you can make depending on the type of broth you have, but here is my go-to. My favorite kind of noodle in hot pot is bean thread noodle. It's soft and chewy and absorbs a lot of flavor from the broth. Most Asian grocery stores have meat pre-cut and packaged specifically for hot pot. Here I'm using beef, pork, and then we have spam. Yes, spam. It tastes great in hot pot and if you haven't tried it, give it a try. For seafood, I've selected mussels and shrimp. Any kind of meat and seafood will work for hot pot. This is just what I have. Fried tofu and tofu puffs. These are like sponges and soak up all the delicious broth. For vegetables, I suggest sticking with leafy greens, ones that cook quickly. Here I've chosen morning glory, watercress, napa cabbage, and cilantro. And an exception to the leafy vegetable rule are the daikon root, lotus root, enoki, and oyster mushroom. They are too great to leave out. I've also added kelp and baby bamboo shoots. And lastly, for miscellaneous items, most Asian stores will carry all sorts of meatballs and dumplings with different fillings. I'll be using two kinds of soup bases. If you have this kind of pot, try choosing a light flavored broth and one heavy one so you can get the best of both worlds while having hot pot. Most Asian grocery stores have a wide selection of soup base packets to choose from. There are so many flavors. You can absolutely make your own, but sometimes when you want something quick and easy, for example on a weeknight, these soup based packets work perfectly. You'll want one pair of chopsticks to eat with and one pair just for handling raw meats and seafood.
And another tip is to have a kettle of boiled water ready to add to the soup because as you eat, the soup will evaporate and the soup may get too salty after a while. There is really no particular order to eating hot pot, but there are some tips that will make eating hot pot more enjoyable. I suggest adding your noodles in last because your broth will have developed so much flavor from cooking everything else. Hot pot is so much fun to eat with family and friends and also alone. It doesn't need to be complicated at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy hot pot eating and see you in the next video. Take care and be safe.